Welcome to Discovery Watch with John Kaiser. I'm Jim Goddard. Welcome back to the show, John. Jim, happy to be back. It looks like spring has sprung across both the nations that we usually talk to. Yes, uh, and even here down in California, where it's supposed to be sunny all the time, we've had a pretty cold uh, uh, spring, and this weekend was our first really warm weekend. Nice to see everywhere. John, Arizona Silver reported results a couple of weeks ago for its Ramsey Silver project in Arizona, and the stock dropped. Is the Ramsey play dead? The Ramsey play is not dead, but it is definitely on hold, uh, probably until uh, at the earliest, uh, the last quarter of this year or, or the first quarter of next year. Uh, they conducted a seven-hole drill program earlier this year, stepping to the uh, northeast of the Ramsey zone, uh, zone following the uh, flattening uh, silver zone where they were hoping to get uh, 30 to 60 gram per ton uh, grades to support a bulk tonnage uh, 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 mining operation. And uh, the results came in at uh, sort of 15 to 26 uh, gram per ton uh, uh, over intervals of 4 to 52 meters, uh, pretty much at uh, a depth of uh, 100 to 200 meters. And that the rock value of those grades is below $10 per ton, which is impossible to make any money at. Uh, maybe if silver goes to 30 bucks an ounce or higher, it might be interesting. But but more importantly, Greg Hahn, when he looked at the uh, geochemistry of all the other elements in the hole, uh, realized that, uh, and they used the word vectoring in the industry, that the the system is fading away in that direction and that their interpretation of where they should be going was wrong. So all these additional fences of holes that they had planned marching to the northeast to outline a you know, 50, 50 million plus, million ton plus uh, deposit, uh, that's pretty much dead. And they realize now that they need to march in the southeast direction into the area where the old creosote vein sits there all by its lonely self uh, at surface. Uh, but that's going to require a, a bigger program. They have, meanwhile, shifted the focus to a new project called Sycamore Canyon, which uh, exists uh, in, in at the opposite side of uh, Arizona, close to the New Mexico border. Um, they, they picked it up from uh, a couple of uh, uh, private parties, one of them a geologist. Uh, they've held this property for decades. They never did any farm outs to anybody. They were never able to raise money themselves to explore it. It covers a 600-meter-long silicified breccia body. Uh, it's about, uh, uh, you know, 10 to 20 meters, uh, 20 to 80 meters wide. It has assayed uh, gold and silver sporadically here and there. There's been a pit and a shaft uh, sunk into it, but this thing has never really uh, amounted to anything, which could be why in this part of uh, Arizona where there aren't uh, you know, a lot of, um, you know, good silver, if any, good silver, uh, gold deposits, uh, uh, that could be a reason nobody ever bothered to option it. But Greg Hahn, when he looked at this, uh, it struck him and said, you know, this looks like the upper part of the Comstock load system in Nevada, which has, uh, yielded 8 million ounces of gold and 192 million ounces of silver. It's a low sulfidation epithermal system. And uh, much of the uh, silver gold came from bonanza zones that are deeper. And uh, he thinks that the um, Sycamore Canyon could be something similar. So they've done a geophysical survey over it. They've done a rock chip sampling uh, program to get some sort of sense of how the uh, of metal values are distributed over the uh, exposed part of this system. Uh, it's longer than 600 meters. They will be doing a drill program of eight holes. They'll be fairly shallow holes, uh, probably a program costing um, no more than $100,000. They'll be RC holes. But they won't be able to begin until late August, early September, because this is forest service land. They will need to get permits. It doesn't look like it's going to be a problem in this area. It's a project where they can work year-round, which is not the case at the uh, the Ramsey, where they have the problem in, in the winter, the uh, thousands of snowbirds descend into the uh, nearby town of Brenda. Uh, and, and once you hit into July, June, July, it gets so hot there that it's almost unsafe to, 
to run a drilling program. Uh, this program, it's, this project's uh, Sycamore Canyons at 5,200 feet elevation, so it's much cooler. They can work it year-round. Um, it's the option deal was very cheap, a hundred thousand dollars in payments over uh, the next uh, four or five years, and an NSR. Uh, that that that's a pretty good deal for a junior. The essence of getting the project. Uh, for free. So this will be the focus for the company. The stock will probably languish uh, between now and, uh, and late August. Uh, um, uh, they will need to raise more money at some point. Uh, they only have about 300,000 working capital left. But the company, uh, it's got, um, you know, still good structure, only 28, 29 million shares issued. Uh, they've beefed up the board with a couple of addition, David Vincent and Scott Heen. And uh, the insiders all still own their stock, and in some cases they own more. So it was a big pick of mine last year that flamed out uh, terribly. Uh, I downgraded it to a bottom fish uh, uh, earlier in January. Uh, it's, of course, gone even lower now that the Ramsey project uh, will not be revisited until uh, after this uh, Sycamore Canyon program gets done. But down here in this 10 to $0.15 cent range, I'm comfortable that... Uh, for, for, for people who believe that we will come out of this uh, bear market slump in the resource sector, this, this is a good bottom fish. Ramsey is not dead, but its future uh, exploration is postponed, will be contingent on getting some joy out of Sycamore Canyon. And the new discovery exploration focus for Arizona Silver will be the Sycamore Canyon project. We'll have more with John Kaiser right after the break. I'm Bill McWilliam, president of Cascadero Copper, CCD on the TSX Venture Exchange. Cesium is one of the world's rarest metals with a growing industrial demand. Drilling is underway on our Tehran property in Argentina to prove up a cesium resource. Cascadero's patent-pending leach process has the potential to make Cascadero the lowest-cost supplier of cesium in the world. Visit our website, cascadero.com, or phone us at 604-924-5504. I'm Greg Johnston, CEO of Carl Data Solutions, an industrial Internet of Things company that provides big data solutions for monitoring critical infrastructure. Carl Data offers machine learning and predictive analytics features to our cloud-based applications to deliver key asset-saving operational insights from massive amounts of data. Carl Data trades on the CSE symbol CRL and the pink symbol CDTAF. For more details on Carl Data, please visit carlsolutions.com. Welcome back. We're chatting with John Kaiser. John Toachi Mining saw its stock price collapse in February from the 25 cent level into the 10 to 15 cent range. Does the market know something unpleasant about the coming upcoming PEA for the La Planta project in Ecuador? Toachi Mining is a bit of a mystery to me. I had the, I introduced the company as a bottom fish buy recommendation in, in late December. Uh, Toachi Mining and, and, and the CEO at the time, Jonathan Goodman, uh, were part of the Metals Investor Forum uh, in my session, uh, one of the companies presenting. It was still $0.25, $0.30. Cents. It got a good reception from the audience. Uh, people liked the story. Uh, they've got a, a deposit that's it's not a world-class deposit. It's a VMS system, but there's a billion dollars worth of uh, uh, metal in the ground, and it's a uh, $400, $500 Rock, and they're going to try and develop this under the uh, small-scale mining regime of Ecuador, where you do not have these big windfall taxes uh, uh, kick in or, or, or steep royalties. And uh, as far as I could tell, everything has been on track. Uh, the stock suddenly dropped at the end of January. It was when the company also appointed Elaine Bureau as the uh, new new. Uh, uh, CEO and Jonathan uh, stepped over uh, into chairman role, and I'm not quite sure why the stock dropped. I have asked management uh, where the selling is coming from, and they have, uh, you know, expressed uh, mystification themselves as to who the seller is. Uh, the company has had a fairly large institutional shareholder base, uh, not that much of a retail following because it was a reorganized company uh, uh, when it acquired the. Um, La Plata project. Uh, so I suspect one of the institutional shareholders has been trying to sneak out and has not really uh, contacted management and said, can you take this block off our hand? Here's why we need to get out. But 
it could be that uh, Jonathan Goodman himself had to, in, in late January, take charge of Dundee Corp., the uh, brokerage firm that his uh, father, Ned, um, ran at, at one point. And so the market may have said, oh, this Tuachi was supposed to be his, his major focus now going forward, and now he's going to be distracted. And But the company in late March announced a $3 million financing, um, 15 cents, 20 million units, half warrant at 17 cents. And uh, the company... Uh, uh, closed this financing just now. Jonathan himself, through his private company, uh, put up $500,000. So he's still in there as a 17% shareholder. As far as I can tell, the PEA is still on track sometime in the second quarter, maybe early in the uh, third quarter. company has now extra money in the treasury. So there really isn't uh, any reason for the stock to be down at these levels except this we're in this bear market where people see the glass as half half empty and metal prices are going to fade away as the world economy goes into some sort of a recession or depression. I think that's wrong. And again, Toachi is now an even better bottom fish at the current level than it was in that uh, 20 to 30 cent range where I recommended it. We'll have more with John Kaiser right after this. Hi, I'm Douglas Mason, President and CEO of Rainy Mountain Royalty Corp, RMO on the TSX Venture Exchange. Rainy Mountain's Brunswick property is located in the Ridout Shear Zone in Ontario, with grab samples running as high as 32 grams per tonne gold. A follow-up drill program to test numerous targets located by recent groundwork is planned for early 2018. Please visit our website at rmroyalty.com. I'm Bill McWilliam, president of Cascadero Copper, CCD on the TSX Venture Exchange. Cesium is one of the world's rarest metals with a growing industrial demand. Drilling is underway on our Tehran property in Argentina to prove up a cesium resource. Cascadero's patent-pending leach process has the potential to make Cascadero the lowest-cost supplier of cesium in the world. Visit our website, cascadero.com, or phone us at 604-924-5504. Don't miss out. Stay informed. Receive the HowStreet.com weekly recap with thought-provoking podcasts, radio, and articles delivered to your inbox. Sign up for the HowStreet.com weekly recap on our homepage at HowStreet.com. Welcome back. We're speaking with John Kaiser. John, in zinc mining has started drilling at its West Desert project, but the stock has fallen into the sink. Has the market decided the West Desert expansion drilling is a bust before before the first hole is even completed. What seems to be happening with InZinc mining is that the private placement the company did four months ago, uh, 35 million units at a dime with a half warrant at 15 cents, this has come free trading uh, in the past couple weeks. And since the start of the month, there's been 2.4 million shares of selling coming out of the uh, so-called anonymous brokerage uh, firm, which is the uh, sort of slot that firms use to sell stocks so that the, the company and others can't figure out uh, who is the likely seller of the stock. What we are seeing here is a classic clip and flip strategy. Uh, that financing was spread amongst 105 places. 7.4 million units went to brokers. Three brokerage firms uh uh, dominated most of this financing. Uh, what I suspect is happening is that some of these places looked at this as a free lunch. They realized that 10 cents was a rock bottom financing. Uh, uh, they're not here for the long run to see if uh, the West Desert expansion drilling delivers a Hermosa Taylor style sensation. And they're just busy clipping the, the, the warrant and flipping the stock into the market. The company started drilling a week ago, the first hole, uh, when I talked to Wayne Hubert on uh, Friday, it was down to about 1,200 feet. The target depth is 2,000 feet vertical. They stepped uh, east about 50 to 100 meters from the existing mineralization. The target is a, uh, uh, a, a, a an eastward expansion of both the main zone and the hanging wall of the Juap Fault 
and the uh, CRD zone in the foot wall. 650 meters to the east was a uh, high grade interval, only three meters of 3.5% uh, copper and 7% zinc. It was never followed up. The geological context is not really understood. Uh, the the InZinc, which acquired the project in 2005, 2006, has always wanted to do a high risk uh, exploratory drilling program to the east. The existing resource for which uh, PEA was done in 2014, under the assumptions of that PEA, it's well in the money here with a zinc uh, between a dollar forty and a dollar fifty per pound. Uh, but the company, when it raised this three and a half million, uh, it had gotten the message from Bay Street and others that well, the existing resource it's fine, but it's just not large enough. So it's swinging for the fences, doing this program which they expect to take four four months or so. Uh, they did an SCAMT geophysical survey. Uh, based on that, they think there is mineralization that extends to the east, but that's based on the interpretation of the geophysics. The drilling that they're doing now, they're watching it very carefully to see what shows up in the core, how they can correlate it with the geophysical data. And, and of course, uh, with, with this type of uh, massive sulfide mineralization, you should be able to to see that sphalerite is present. You, they can have an XRF unit on site where they can shoot whatever copper and, uh, and zinc values are present. Uh, uh, they, they will know what the holds are carrying, but the big thing, and we probably will have to wait until mid-May before we really know is, is their interpretation of the geophysics correct so that as they march eastwards, they are going to delineate a zone. And we're not there at this inflection point, which is why the... Uh, the, the, the conservatives out there are selling their stock and keeping the warrant as a free 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 ride on the future upside of the company. But from a, uh, a, a, a speculator's point of view, uh, this is actually a bonus to anybody who isn't already long the stock or, or such as myself has held it for a very long time and a bit disgruntled to see that it's available so cheap uh, when we're probably uh, four to six weeks away from knowing if we have a major new discovery on our hands. But for newcomers, they can get the, uh, the, 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 the zinc optionality play with the existing resource, uh, which even if they come up with absolutely nothing stepping eastwards, they will still have the existing resource to fall back on. And if we have dollar twenty or better per pound as the long-term reality for zinc, uh, this deposit will get developed. The company has also... Uh, done geophysics over a broader area, and they're starting to think that, you know, there are targets present in the vicinity that have never been tested. So this play could end up uh, turning into a major, major uh, new discovery, but we are not there yet. We're in the scary part of the initial step-out drilling underway, and it'll take uh, another four weeks for us to know if uh, we have a discovery on our hands. John, thank you so much for the update. You're welcome, Jim. We've been speaking with John Kaiser, his website, kaiserresearch.com. I'm Jim Gotti. Comments made on Company Showcase are an expression of opinion only and should not be construed in any manner whatsoever as recommendations to buy or sell any financial instrument at any time. Archived online at howstreet.com. Company Showcase is a production of How Street Media Incorporated.